and the protesters, the Gen Z, some of who actually formed the base of your election campaign, mm. are telling you, we are disappointed. You've not delivered. Hashtag Ruto must go. What do you tell them? Let me tell them the following. Good friends, the young people of our nation, my sons and daughters who supported me to win the election. I hear you. In fact, I saw, I think it was on your headline, a gentleman from my village who was saying, the president has let us down. Many children in this village are not getting jobs locally. That is why they are going abroad. Little did he know, my good friend from my village, that the children, the 500 of his colleagues around our village are actually part of my plan on export of labor. They have actually, I intentionally supported them to leave the country because we got them jobs outside Kenya. So I am telling the young people of our nation to be patient. Our housing program is rolling. We will be hiring more architects. We will be hiring more engineers. We will be hiring more professionals to support our housing program. By in the next two years, we will have 300, maybe uh, 1,000 people working in that space. Be patient. We are sorting out the challenges that are facing our digital space. We are rolling out our digital space. Mm. Young guys, by the end of next year, God willing, we will have a digital hub in every ward in Kenya because we have already started that process. Every Tibet in Kenya today has an ICT hub with young people monetizing their talent. I want to tell them we are full speed into manufacturing. That is why we're saying we're no longer importing clinker, we're no longer importing steel, we're no longer importing clinker, we're no longer importing uh, furniture, we are going to stop importing eggs, we're going to stop importing uh, onions and all this because we want to promote our local manufacturing mm. to be able to create jobs for them. We are no longer going to be importing diapers or sanitary parts from other countries. They are going to be manufactured be here. Mr. President. I have worked with the industries to make sure that we create opportunities for these young people. We, 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 are, we are going to work with them to deal with the challenge of corruption. We are we're, going, we're going to work to... with them to cut down on government largesse. I am going to make sure that we have a lean government that responds to the reality of where we are as a country. That is what I am telling my good uh, young people. The young people. There's another group of young people. Please speak to them directly. Yes. The young doctors who are in university graduating this year yes. who are going to look for internship Correct. in the next year. The young JS teachers mm. who were on strike a couple of weeks ago who are expecting to be absorbed into full permanent and pensionable contracts Correct. this year. The young clinical officers also who are graduating and they expect to go on internship. The other clinical officers who are hired on contract during COVID and other programs that are just contracts and contracts are coming to an end. I am, All these I am telling the JSS them. teachers, I had factored in 18 billion shillings in this year's finance bill to be able to transfer them to permanent and pensionable. Because in my phone, so many of them have asked me, Mr. President, we came in, we had an agreement that we are going to be interns for two years, we will move to permanent and pensionable. Although I don't have the finance bill, I want to tell them, give me a bit of time, let me figure this out, how we are going to do it without the finance bill, we had also put three billion shillings yeah. for the doctors so that we can be able to sort them out, especially the intern doctors and those who we intended to hire to, uh, under our UHC program. I had put 10 billion shillings on the UHC program under the finance bill. That is now not in the equation. I have to figure out, let them just give me a little, a little, a little time. I'm going to figure it out again because I know and I feel and I made a commitment to them that we will do this. 
So even in the absence of the finance bill, and even as we cut down on expenditure on many other areas, it is still my commitment that we will see what to do with them so that the job they are doing in teaching our children, in treating our people, do not go to waste. Mr. Mr. President, we, we, we're almost winding down this, but have you noticed that those young people, they actually have worked out the things that they believe you can take out and still be able to do the important things? Because you seem to have this elaborate plan, and I'm wondering where their views will fit in, because you seem to have uh, this all worked out, but they probably don't want all those things. That is they, why. They have figured out. That is why, yeah. you know, part of what I told you, Joe, is communicating, you know? And I hope this time round, I find a medium where I can engage, you know? And I am ready to go to this X place to engage with them. And I want to tell them, this is my plan, okay? Tell me how I can make this better. Tell me this is not good enough, you know? Change this, because I have seen some of the demands they have made. They have said that uh, don't hire CASs, and I agree with them. They have said, remove the office of the first lady, the second, the spouse of the, uh, the second lady and all that, and I have agreed with them. They have said a couple of things that we already are in agreement. They have, of course, said some of the things, abolish the office of uh, uh, women rep. I've seen they have also said we should reduce the salaries of MPs to 200,000 or something. Some of those things are things that are not in my power. Those are the things that we need to do a whole of society, a whole of nation approach, so that if we are bringing down salaries from 1.1 trillion to 700 billion, that is something I am willing and I am ready to start with my own salary, going down to salaries of others so yeah. that we can all live within our means. Your Excellency, we are now going to our final questions. And uh, my final question will uh, be about the protest and the deployment of KDF. Uh, which you did um, a few days ago. Now, the Gen Z millennials and the online um, Kenyans that are organized this, organizing these protests are promising to be back on the streets on, on Tuesday. What should we expect on Tuesday when protesters, peaceful as they've, some of them have been, turn up on the streets of Nairobi. Do we expect them to be chased away by the Kenya Defense Forces? First, the Kenya Defense Forces will not be on the street. They only come as a last resort. If the demonstrations will be peaceful, I promise you, the police will be there to protect the demonstrators. But the police will also be there to make sure that the criminals, the fellows who come to burn offices, the fellows who come to loot property, will also be dealt with. That is my commitment. We must all operate within the law, and uh, that is what it is. My final question is on the elephant in the room, the elephant in our budget, public debt. Candidate William Ruto responded